What's up, YouTube? I don't know. I don't know. Makeup. <laughs> this is so shiny right here. You Should I fix myself? Oh, wow. I feel like you guys made me conscious of it. Look for me. They already have a girlfriend. <laughs> they're already married. And he's yeah. a ring. Any indication that the guy is a total like mama's boy? That's a huge red flag. You're on every brown dating app there is, so why don't you let him know? So like for me, it'll be like uh, filters. If I see there's a lot of Snapchat filters, I'm like, okay, no, this person, yeah, we can't trust her. I don't want to do who puts flower crowns, <laughs> and that actually happens. Like Bill Mill is infamous for that. I met my husband on Bill Mill. Ooh, I'm a success story. If a chick only has one photo, that's a big red flag. It's like, why do you only have one photo? Like really blurry photos, like just one photo. And like, it's like, oh, he's kind of cute. <laughs> In all the years that you've been alive and that technology has existed, you've only managed to capture one good photo of yourself. <laughs> like that's shady. So like, this is a fake account or something? If you put a group picture as your profile picture, you don't have a good solo picture. So you probably paired it with like all your good looking friends. Girls, like lots of girls in the picture. Um, oh, it's yeah. like, what are you doing on a dating site when you are like in a mosh pit of people? Yeah. Or if every picture is her drinking, that's kind of like depressing. I hate when they're like, oh, I'm like an occasional like light drinker. It's like, no, you get up. If they only have like close up shots, then you know, I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> what are you not I'm sure about? I'm being honest with you guys. I'm what are you not, not sure about? I'm not sure about, you know. Shirtless pics in the mirror is definitely no. Hard no. Colored eyes. When it's a color, you know that like, they definitely don't have. Oh, if a guy has co like <laughs> contacts on with colored eyes. Having very peculiar angles, if you know what I mean. Like they only want you to see a certain bits of them. Like maybe that right eye is the only thing that really comes out. I'm like, what's on the other side? You know, why are we looking at this angle right here? Like, I want to see a good personality. Like, I want to see a like, photo? Oh, yeah, I want to see a legit personality. What is a personality photo? You can see if someone's creative in their photos or in at least creative in like. You want me to do like a dance mudra? Like, why don't. <laughs> if they're like saying, like, looking to get married like soon or whatever, I'm like, yo, chill, like, relax, take a deep breath. God has his plan, so just calm down. Whatever happens, happens. On Minder, I heard there's like a religious level. You don't want to be too far to the left, which is like not religious, or you don't want to be too far to the right, which is like super religious. I'll probably just say entrepreneur. Yeah, that'd be dope, you know what I'm saying? I, whenever I see entrepreneur, but then nothing underneath, I'm like, you ain't an entrepreneur. You're just out of work. <laughs> Great. Probably like, I'm a clown. That would probably be like, no, no clown. Actual like in the face clowns. You would swipe yes on that. Any anytime I see people say things like I'm looking for an active girl, I'm like, all right, I get it. They're like likes to ski and hike. It's like sure, I'm sure you like to ski and hike. You're brown. Let's be real. You're like that's very nice for you, but it's not for me. <laughs> moles, fam. I can't do moles. But brown people have a lot of moles. I know. That's the problem. Like. <laughs> There's just nothing I can say. Like, I'm a college dropout. There's, like, what else is there? My parents don't compare me to other kids, so I'm good. This is so hard because I try my best not to, like, I know what's really going on with that kid, so I try not my best not to rat out on them. Oh, I just stitch oh. on them. I'm like, do you know what's going on over there? <laughs> do you know what Arjun, he does coke on Saturday nights? You don't know what you don't know what they're really are like. actually doing. <laughs> you don't want to be petty either. You don't want to just be like, all right, let me just scroll up their Instagram for you real quick. But, like, high key feels like you want to do that sometimes. I'd be like, oh, so you want me to do these types of drugs? <laughs> you want me to go get pregnant? <laughs> and I go adopt them. And then go put me in the garbage can. Before it used to be like you used to just sit down and take it, but then as you got older, you're like, wait, this person is not as good as they say they are. <laughs> that stuff, I like keep it in my head. The stuff I say. Like, yeah, it's all mental game. It's all a mental game. I would probably just compare them to other parents and be like, oh, you want to play this game? Two can play. It's like, hey, you know, Richie's mom and dad, they don't do this shit to him, so. Yeah, I don't get it, bro. It's, bro, it's competition. It's always competition. Immigrants love to compete against one another. It's ingrained in their system that they have to compete compare themselves to their to other kids in the community and aunties are just in their ear. They always want you to be a little bit better. Sometimes it kind of like backfires where you feel like they're being like a little bit too judgmental. Your cousin went to college and she lost 15 pounds. I'm like, oh, that's so great for her. I like Reese's Puffs. That's what I was doing in college. My parents used to com uh, compare me all the time to my cousin. 
because uh, he was really smart, very tall, good looking. So my parents, well, I couldn't really help the good looking or the tall thing. Well, their son does is that I'm like, hey, they're doing their own thing. That's great. I'm doing my own thing. That's it. Ah, oh, it happens every day of my life. Yeah. It's called hanging out. Did you hear, like, whatever's daughter is a doctor? Yeah. Like, no, I didn't. Bye. I think they're just unhappy. Right? Like, I feel like so many- I think they're just, you know, they're curious, they're nosy, they want to compare kind of your lives with where you are with their own kids' lives. I actually um, never had that because I always lied on my report cards. Whoa, but I am doing so good. Just do a little bit better, that's all. Shere Khan, definitely. Shere Khan. I would want Shere Khan. Shere Khan. You have to have Shere Khan. Automatically. He's like the Captain America. Me, first of all, uh, playing Iron Man. Help him. You're fun Khan. Nah, we're not superhero. I need Nav on my team. You feel me? Like, he put it off with a brown voice. Krishna. Krishna's the man. I really like Mindy Kaling. Mindy Kaling, yes. Smart and funny. Priyanka Chopra, oh, because, because she has the superhero power of marketing. Priyanka Chopra could play the villain pretty well. Shit, we'll throw Nick in there too. Uh, this girl named Radhika, she's amazing. She should definitely play Iron Man's love interest, just so I could be. <laughs> Arjun Rampal. I know no one really says that name, but I love But Arjun wait, Rampal. why? Only because he's really hot. No, yeah, he's very hot. Akshay Kumar. I think he'd be pretty dope to have around. Like he's got like martial arts and stuff. Like if you get in a fight, I feel like he'd always have my back even though he's like 60. Hassan Minaj. Wow, that was quick. I have to have Hassan Minaj. Hassan Minaj, like number one, okay. number two, and number three. Hassan Minaj, love him. Uh, Hassan Minaj should definitely play Captain America because he kind of looks like that. He was just playing at the All Star game and he did not have any good hoops at all. So I don't know. I mean, our new friends, Ali Abad and uh, and Ramir. Yeah. Yes, we met we them met at a bar, so person. they have to. Yeah, they'll be offended if we don't include them. Yeah. Amir Khan. Amir, yeah, yeah, Amir Khan. The boxer or the uh, actor? Let's throw both. In. Both. Why not? Okay, do I get? To include myself. I put Trisha in it from Brown Girl. Trisha. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely Shashi Thoreau. One member of the Butoh clan. They're just master strategists. Rabia Chowdhury because she's just such a kick-ass human. But Mama? Yeah. That girl? The guy with the great beard. Oh. Oh my god, Ranveer Singh. Ranveer Singh. Yes, definitely. Isn't he like Bay for like... <laughs> he is Bay. He's Bay for girls. Then Deepika will come along with him. That's yeah, cool. yeah. She's cool. I think Avengers. I'm down for a Deepika. Like, she plays badminton too, so there's like multi-talents there. Liza Koshi. Oh my god, Lily Singh for sure. I want to say maybe Superwoman? No, no. Superwoman. Superwoman. Yeah, you'd have to include her. You, you gotta keep the comedy rolling, so you definitely want to ruin shit goes bad you need someone to make you laugh heard the groschen was one of my idols growing up um the whole yeah heard the groschen he would be like beautiful i think Rithik would be good as like iron man i honestly would make Rithik chris evans no but he's so beautiful he has an extra finger on his hand too it's like a wrench so it's like He's an Avenger for real, he's a mutant. Uh, Kutrapali from Big Bang Theory, just for like comic relief. You need somebody funny. I feel like you need a silly one, so that would be like Govinda. Imagine Govinda as oh, like yeah. Spider-Man. Yeah. Like Spider-Man with like a big face. <laughs> that would be sick. Aziz Ansari should play the Hulk. I think that would be just hilarious. Because it has to be true to the fact that, you know, that's usually the size you need people come in, aside from me. Zayn Malik for sure. He's like this skinny kid who can't do much, but at least he like looks on the side. P. Diddy. Um. <laughs> no, I'm he's brown. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's not. Oh, Amitabh Bachchan, because he's just. Amitabh Bachchan for sure. Like, Amitabh Bachchan would definitely be the Nick Fury. Nick Fury, yeah, yeah. Like, the, the eye the patch. Boss. Dude, he would look so yeah. cool with the eye patch. If you have Amitabh Bachchan in your Avengers, your shit's like not even incredible. I feel like Inquisitive would be a good one on that team. <laughs> like, draw your getaway. Yeah. I feel like I would be into that. I would also like to have Katrina Kaff. I actually she was so met her backstage, and she's super sweet and has like the hottest body and like really soft skin. She's like super fit. I feel like she would be badass. Yeah, no. she'd, be, she'd be good as Black Widow. Wow. No? Katrina Kaff, she's just a good looking actress. Wow. Do you hear this, Katrina? Like, <laughs> it would be the healthy boy. We got Frosty, Emma, Dower, Shimmer, and Scott. Let's go. That's the best brown Avengers you could ever have, bro. 
perks. We get really dope outfits. They have a lot of inspiration for fashion. The jewelry, the outfits, the makeup, it's just within you, it's in your blood, and I can't imagine not having that appreciation. Your parents will call you like two, three times a day, be like, where are you, are you safe? Yeah. But like, it's cute, it's nice. The dad's always like, oh, like, that's my daughter. Yeah, they're, they're like, very- She's like a queen, like, she's a queen. Loving and protective. Yeah. Like, they give you a lot of love, but then because of that love that comes with a lot of protection that they confuse as that they confuse and they make it overbearing instead. I think you're more protected in a way by your parents in terms of financial stability yeah, or you know just anything else. I think there's a level of protection that comes with your family that the guys might not receive. At home, like brown guys treat their moms and their sisters with a lot of respect. And I wish that outside of the home, they continued that. The cultural pressure of men and parents to not explore the world and to just stay inside and be the housewife. My mom's a housewife, so I don't see anything wrong with that. If that's your personality and you want to do that, that's cool. But I think the pressure to keep girls always kind of, you know, secure. You're in jail. You're basically in jail until you get married. What do you know? Gender equality thing is pretty new in um, in India, and as it's spreading over here, and as we realize that like generation generationally, like in the diaspora, we still have to like deal with some of this stuff. So the amount of like privilege we have as guys and dudes is way more than girls. Like they have to be with like at least two or three other girls to go out. They have to call their moms and be like, hey, send a picture of what you guys are and stuff. You need your brother there. You need a guy like someone they can trust. Her drawbacks of being a Daisy girl, yeah. they're not like they're all perfect. The perk of being a Daisy girl is that they're gorgeous. We look great in anything. It's exotic. I think Daisy women are beautiful. That's why we win beauty contests like left and right. Mark. Girl. I think the biggest perk is of course like having like such a vibrant and colorful um, culture to like relate to. Our food I think is hands down the best food. Like if you haven't had Daisy food, I don't think you're living. Drawbacks is that you always smell like solid. People make fun of like the stuff you eat. Sometimes they make fun of the stuff you wear, but now that's like cool because everyone's wearing it to Coachella. Drawbacks is mainly social. The creeps. The creeps. Yeah. Because anytime you get in an Uber or a Lyft or a taxi and someone goes, you from India? and then they proceed to want to talk to you for the entire car ride. I think that there's a lot of power in owning your culture, and I think that there's a lot of power in seeing that in the mainstream. Also, I just love the values that my culture instills. I love being Pakistani, like I love going into a group of people that, you know, might not be my skin color and I love representing us. And I think the dancing. I think all of us like have oh, yes. some type of like dancing gene in us, even if, if like some of us are like not that great, but we can all like get down to like that vibe of music. Your wedding day, that's a huge perk, right? Like you get to be decked out. Like that is such an amazing perk. And I don't think you realize it until you're actually there and you're like, holy shit, like I look like this because of my Daisy culture. You feel like royalty. You're born with a checklist and you have to learn how to create your own instead of following that, but that checklist is like hovering constantly. Now it's even different. Now you have to have a career. You have to have, you know, a couple of degrees under your belt, but at the same time, you can't really date, but you gotta find the love of your life somehow. There's definitely more pressure on us getting married and having kids. You gotta get married by this time, the clock's ticking, you gotta have a kid, like I want grandkids, but like, what if I don't want to give you grandkids? It's always hard to um, kind of break that barrier with the first generation or the generations before. It's my mom on our ass about learning how to cook. Yeah, that's yeah. annoying. And then like your brother's just playing Xbox and they don't care. As like a guy, like my parents just basically let me do whatever I wanted to. For women, unfortunately, both in India and in the US, they're just like micromanaged a lot more by their parents. You can't really do anything other than go, go to school, go to work, and study. Uh, not having the same curfew as my brother. Like a guy could, you know, go out for like a week and he could do whatever. And his mom will kiss him on the floor. Yeah. He's like, hey, Dad, I love you, you're so good. Well, like my brother doesn't come home for days. Oh, it's okay. The girl, it's like you go for away for like 15 minutes to walk the dog and like, it's like, what are you, where were you, what boy were you with? Like I grew up with two younger brothers and they're younger than me by like three and four years. But growing up, it was always like they were allowed to do everything and I wasn't allowed to do anything. And I was always like, I'm the older one. Like this makes no sense. And they'd be like, lick it the like you. That will always be a thing. He was making bond for us, and I was like, I want, I want bond, you know, like I never get to have that here. And he was like, oh, you can't have bond. But he's making bond for like my brothers. And he was like, well, you can have lady bond. And I'm like, what the f is lady bond? Like, what? To be raised in a household where there are limitations, and they get pretty sneaky with that stuff, and they know how to finesse and like learn and do stuff, 
with limitations. So when they do go in the you know, open and free world, they're like twice as smart and 10 times as hungry. I think they get a lot of pressure from their parents and from the community to like behave a certain way, act a certain way. You know, you're supposed to be soft-spoken. Obviously I'm very vocal <laughs> and uh, very outgoing and I'm very opinionated. So it can be challenging to be yourself in a brown community. A lot of South Asian women just aren't able to like discover themselves until it's way later or you know, maybe never. So microaggressions and like implicit biases and all these things is like we didn't know for a mm -hmm. long time that that was happening to any of us yeah. as like like as people of color in general and like women specifically like I've had family members who say that girls have a thin sheet of glass in front of your face whereas guys have a thick sheet of plastic and it's like that's the idea that you know they tend to run on is like you are this much as anything happens to you like we don't want you to be damaged and it's like Every life experience that you're having as a girl or as anybody is just making you who you are. I love Bollywood and watch it all the time and now I'm going back to a lot of that and being like, oh, was this okay? Did this brainwash me? But I still love this movie and it's full of bangers. <laughs> I think that there's actually a lot of power in being a Daisy girl right now. Yeah. You're able to write, you're able to expressively, you know, show yourself and who you are and what your culture actually is and supersede that stereotype. I miss my best friend, Steve Jobs.